you guys follow exactly what I do, you guys could easily make a ton of coins. So I'm assuming y'all really don't have a lot of coins. So the first thing I would do, man, is I would head over to these get a player pack. And get a player packs is one of the most legendary packs in the game. They've been around forever, but they always are going to be profitable. You don't have to have a lot of coins. You can have like 10, you can have like five, you can have 15K and you can make coins on it. Now with some of these gold cards, you can't sell them on the auction block. They're not really worth nothing. You wanna exchange them into elites or you wanna exchange them into whatever you feel like you need to make the set. And when you open up these get a player packs, you're really trying to get these players and sell the power up, sell the high overall elites to make your profit. Get a player packs can easily net you somewhere around 100K per hour if you can constantly keep opening them over and over and over again. Here we go with our first 81 overall player. Now 81s is not crazy expensive. It's not something that's gonna break the bank, but this card could be sold at 1500 coins and you just pay for the last three packs you just opened. So with that being said is those other two cards is free and you can keep rinse and repeating this method over and over and over again. Make sure y'all come follow me on Twitch, man. Twitch.tv forward slash doghouseyt, man. We're doing streams over there. Good time. It's not always going to be mad and it's going to be fun stuff. We're just going to be vibing. Follow me on Twitch, man. I'm going to see you over there. Now, the second method is going to be Team Builders 1. You're going to be using some of these cards from the Get A Player Packs to create some of these Team Builders. You don't have to, but if you do use some of the cards from the Get A Player Packs, you can make even more coins on the Get A Player Packs and on the Team Builders. Now, these Team Builders are going to vary. There's always new cards getting dropped in the game, and some of these are more valuable than others. So all you want to do is you want to look at the 84s, and you want to go to Team Builders and check and see which one of these cards are selling. And you can see that the cheapest one right now is about 8000 coins plus you way less to create these cards see what the newest cards are being posted you want to sit here for a little bit maybe let us sit here for like five minutes leave it on new and then when you come back you could scroll through here it's gonna show you the cards that sold and then you know okay this card is selling all right maybe I could uh, make this card and get some profit off of it and another way you can figure out what cards are selling is you can actually make the card and then you could see on the auctions page how many times a card is selling and you can see right here in the recent sales it says 18 minutes ago an hour ago an hour ago and seven hours ago right so let's just say i was making a team builder this isn't a team builder i would want to make because it's really selling very slow you got one 18 minutes ago you could average maybe two an hour and then you got a big gap between uh, six hours in between so I really wouldn't make this card it just doesn't make sense so the team builder set is very simple you want to go to team infinity once you go to team infinity you want to go to team builders then you want to go to team builders one super simple easy concept to understand all you need is 380 through 82s and 375 through 79s now remember we was talking about get a player packs you could use all the cards from get a player packs to create these team builders and you won't have to buy any cards on the auction block which means that if you're doing that all of those cards are gonna be free if you're covering on your get a player packs. If you're not, it's okay. You could buy 380 through 82s for 1K each, that's 3K, and you could probably buy 375 through 79s for 500 coins each. So that will cost you 4,500 coins. And then you put these cards on the auction block, see which one of these cards are selling. And as they sell, you're gonna profit somewhere around 4K per card. As we start building up our coin stack, we're gonna move on from get a players, team builders one to team builders three. Now team builders three is another one of those sets that are valuable to the game because these are used for team master sets or team champion sets. So some of these cards are gonna be selling pretty fast. Now the prices are gonna vary with these cards too. You're gonna to need one 91 through 92 and two 89 through 90s and two 87 through 88s. If you can bag two of the 87 through 88s from getting player packs, that'd be cool. If not, you can buy these cards. At this point, you have a decent amount of coins, right? You, you got at least, I'm gonna say you got at least 200, 300K. Depending on what you're getting these cards for is gonna be your profit margins. You could probably find a 91 through 92 for somewhere around 10 to 12K. You could find 280, 89 through 90s for about six to 7K. And then you could find these 87 through 88s for probably like 3K each. So let's just say you find these at 4K each. That, this will be 8K and these were 7K each. So this would be like 14K plus eight, which would be 22K, right? And then you get this 91 through 92. You could probably find this for like, let's just say you find it for 12K. That will put you at 34K. So these cars hitting for about 45K. So if you completing them at 34K, you putting them up at 45K, I really would try to sell these for a little bit more. So it'd be like the same process that you're going through with the team builders one. You wanna go ahead and look at the newest, see which one of these cars are selling for higher prices than 45K because some of these are gonna sell for more because if you could sell one at 50K, 
Now you get back 45K and you make 11K on each one of those cards. Now you only got to do 10 of those cards in an hour to make 100K. There's so many more methods we can get into, but we're going to move on to what I think is probably one of the better methods and safer methods as far as just making consistent coins. So at this point, you didn't build up a little coin stack. You got like 100, you, you probably got like 200, 300K. You can now start getting on the auction block and sniping cards. Now I'm going to show you a very simple way to snipe some cards on the auction block. So this is a non-filtered filter, basically. So it's the 94 to 95s, and some people buy cards off of this. So you can see that they're hitting for like 45K. If you do all off offense and all defense and see what's the non-filter price for these so this is like 44 45k this is like 45k so this tells you that 94 through 95 should be hovering around 45k but to go deeper into the price points you want to go position by position or whatever you want to do filter by filter now as you're going position by position you got to learn these prices so at the cheapest we see cars at 45k right so if we seeing a 94 for below 45k we could easily buy that if there's profit in that right you're looking to see 94s for good prices but you're also trying to gauge the 95 prices so the way that you really want to gauge the 95 prices is flipping through over and over and over again, not over and over and over again, but a couple times and checking filters. So let's just go ahead and check on this Walter Jones and see what his price point is. And you guys see how fast we found this nice little snipe. You see one for 60 and you see one for 66. Now, if you put them up for 66K, it might take a minute to sell, but you'll make like a 7K profit on it. So we're going to go ahead and just see how much the left tackles are for 95 overall. And we're seeing one at 65 and then Walter Jones. I'm just checking to see like what's the price points for these cards so this is a pretty decent buy at uh, 52k so we're gonna go ahead and buy it and then we're gonna see what his price point is his median price is 53k but you also got to understand the market price for him this is not the best card to show you because this is one of the more experienced ways but just because he's a slow seller we'll put him up at 65 it is a dead market just to show you guys a profit on that we put him up for 65k you got to subtract 6500 coins because that's a 10 percent tax you get it back 58 5 Go ahead and subtract this 52k i think we spent like 52.5 on this car that's 6k right 6k in in a matter of no time so we're gonna go find another car so i can give you a better idea of what's going on with the market if you guys want faster selling cards you want to go and snipe the promos the most recent promos because those are cars that people are actively looking for and those cars are moving fast so here we found a decent snipe right this 94 overall michael brockers now the cheapest one on the block right now is a 49 and then it goes up to 50. But remember, the price points on a non-filtered 94 was 45K. So because that price point was 45K, we know he'll sell on the time remaining page, potentially at 45K. So I'm not gonna put him up for a non-filtered price because he did sell at 49K. Now this is a slow seller. So we're just gonna go ahead and put him up at 49K for eight hours. So car's not being posted fast enough. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. Keyshawn Johnson at 32K. The draft card's not being posted as fast as I would like them to, but they will be quick sellers. But we just got another banger with that Keyshawn Johnson. And we could easily put that man up at 45K. We bought him for 32K, we get back 39K. That's 7K profit on that card easily.